Hi, let's have a look how to set a fire brick up with HTTPS. So at the moment, as you can see, it's website not secure, but we've given it a name, Boaty at Boatface UK, and that's in DNS. Now to start off, there are no certificates in there. Well, there's a private key. You can upload new private keys and certificates, but let's do it the easy way. Let's go into Setup, System Settings, and you fill in the Acme host name you want. So this is what's in DNS. Boatfaceuk and you need to put an email address in here so I'm just putting hostmaster at uh, boatfaceuk and uh, a key thing here is that by doing this you're agreeing to the terms of the certificate authority in this case it's let's encrypt okay so we've done that and we save the config now back to the certificates and uh, we're, we're actually on a boat, so it's quite slow, but uh, it's just got all of the details for Let's Encrypt, including the terms, so you can go and read those terms to make sure you're happy with what you've agreed to. Obviously, you should do that first. Uh, it's added the necessary boot certificates that are used by Let's Encrypt, and you'll see it says Making Private Key for Hostname. Now, this can take a while. We've seen it take a couple of seconds. We've seen it take well over a minute. Uh, it's potlucked. It's down to the, the true random number generator in the FB2900, picking uh, primary numbers to make the key. And that can take a variable amount of time. But uh, having made a key for the host name, it will go on to make a key for the account. So we're just waiting for it to finish the first stage now. There we go, making key for account. It actually uses two keys. So there's one for the host name and one for the account. And this is uh, because Let's Encrypt it insists on having different keys for the two parts. It then runs through a lot of stages, which you won't see all of, that involve sending a request to Let's Encrypt, uh, they're requesting a challenge, and a challenge from Let's Encrypt from the outside to verify that the Firebrick is indeed what it claims to be under that host name, Bertie McBoatface. And then suddenly I'm logged out. Why? Well, it switched me to HTTPS. And as you can see, we have Boaty McBoatface signed by Let's Encrypt, and that's accepted by the browser as secure. So if I log back in, and now we see we have a certificate for Boaty McBoatface and we're waiting for renewal, and it's uh, set up to renew in two months' time. They actually have an expiry of three months, and it tries to start renewing 30 days before. So we have keys and certificate, and it's all ready to go.